this is Jed with Sierra Mountain Guides and Sage to Summit. We're here in the High Sierra backcountry on the Evolution Loop, testing out some lightweight, fast packing, trekking equipment, also appropriate for mountaineering considerations. Uh, specifically today, or right now, I'll talk about stove options. The early benchmark for lightweight backpacking stoves was the MSR Pocket Rocket. Screws onto a pressurized fuel canister and uh, super minimalist, um, but you're restricted and, and, and puts out a lot of heat, but you're restricted to using canisters of, of various sizes. Uh, but the smallest ones available are, are often too big for, for short trips. And then along came the Jet Boil, which integrated a canister stove with a insulated pot and a, a heat exchanger to jack up the efficiency and it seems to be about twice as efficient as a as a pocket rocket um, but it's a bulkier system once again you're you're confined to using these pressurized canisters one time use type of thing uh, these are wicked fast if you're melting snow it's the way to go if you're for time. A canister stove like the jet boil is awesome. However, if you're on a, a fast packing type of trip where you're got nice long evenings in camp and can, can take the time to, to prepare your food, uh, there are other options available. And these have kind of progressed in, in parallel with canister fuel stoves in terms of availability and historically even we use stoves like this. Uh, but modern materials and technology have made them even, even lighter and some, some brainstorming and tinkering at home have, have polished up these designs. Uh, this little guy right here is a Vargo titanium alcohol stove. It burns commonly available alcohol. Uh, hardware stores, um, automotive supply stores sell various alcohol products, flammable, um, for, for other purposes, but it serves double duty as a fuel for these for a stove like this this particular one has these little collapsing legs and it must weigh an ounce or two super light uh, needs to be primed needs to be protected from the wind and you need a little bit of time it takes some time to do it but for a short trip a few nights out or the patient tinkerer this is the way to go combined with the lightweight titanium pot your your entire cook kit can be mere ounces and the fuel it's fairly efficient on fuel work out your your fuel allotment to manage the weight also uh, and that fuel is also like I said widely available throughout much of the world from what I understand another option for very short trips I'd recommend it uh, is the some sort of solid fuel stove. This little white pellet is a, is a solidified fuel of some kind. It's purpose built for for burning and, and heating your food up. This is a, a little titanium holder. It gives you a flame proof platform on which to hold the tablet and a trio of pot supports to keep your pot above it. Uh, in an actual testing the other day it took three of these tablets to boil three cups of water. And it took a fair amount of time and it blackened the pot. But if you're going out for a single night set, a tablet, three, you know, three, four tablets, and this tiny little stove can be an extremely lightweight, super compact option for for a single night out. It'd be hard to recommend it for more than that with the, with the complications and the soot that accumulates and the time it requires but those short trips you can't go wrong with something like this so yeah thanks for checking it out consider these options and there's a there's the right stove for the right job